forward to another great week ahead. The just past week, like the election campaign, was dominated by education. In fact, senior high education, and one that is for the first time, supposed to be free for all. Whilst it is yet unclear, the flow of financial resources for a sustainable implementation of free SHS, almost everybody acknowledges just how wonderful the country will be if everyone who qualifies can gain access to quality education, which is free. Also in the past week, journalism has been under scrutiny as the Ghana Journalists Association decides the fate of its future. Speaking of journalism, both Multimedia Group and Jospon Group of companies are preparing to assist the police CID to investigate allegations of single sourcing contracts on dealing with waste and fumigation for district and municipal assemblies. And oh, the minority silence on the SNIT IT financial malfeasance has not, indeed cannot go unnoticed. But they do have concerns about ADB. They say the bank is staring at an imminent collapse for which the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, stands accused by them. Today, we'll be looking at the free SHS, the police CID invitation to both the multimedia and the chairman of Just One Group of Companies vis-a-vis -vis the future of journalism association in Ghana. Allegations of impropriety against the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, by the minority, we will also touch on. The Operation Vanguard is also on our radar today. Welcome to Editor's Forum, where we speak what is editorially appropriate and push hard at objectivity irrespective. My name is Gifty Andropia. So we get their differences, there are also opportunities. And I commend um, the NBC for some of the new schools that they built. And those schools are going to be put to good use. But we promise to continue with projects that they began. And we're going to make sure that those that, that are not completed will be completed and we'll be able to put them to good use so that we will not have this infrastructure deficit that you referred to. Thank you. Issue. Then, um, for whatever reason, has been placed in a place so far away from home, we want them to be close to home. So that is not a difficult thing. We can always, a number of people have come to the office and we are helping them to do just that. So those situations can be resolved. Regional directors are, um, can help support you in that process. So don't come all the way to Accra. Go to your regional education office. And if you have any concerns, they can help you address it. NDC is out of power because they do not have the vision for education transformation. They came up with progressively free, right? Instead of comprehensively free. They don't know how to do it. And that's why I'm telling Ghanaians that Nana Dudanko's vision is going to be implemented. There will be glitches here and there. It's going to be implemented. Uh, and, and Free Senior High School will be alive. Uh, so far as MPP is in power. And that's the reason why we have to remain in power for a long time. So that our children and grandchildren can benefit from Free Senior High School. I mean, uh, there are people who say it cannot be done. Former Deputy Education Minister who say it cannot be done. There's a reason why he's a former minister. Their policy was not appealing enough to our people. It was not solving the problems that the people were looking for, for solutions. People are looking for solutions. Parents are saying, I don't have to go and sell my clothes in order to take care of my children. And the government of the MPP has responded. Today marks the deadline of the 48 hours placement extension given by the Ghana Education Service to basic education certificate examination candidates across the country. A new website has been released by the Ghana Education Service, which is cssps.gov.net. And we're here to find out, today being the last day, how are students coping? Have they been able to access their placements? Are they even aware of the official website? We'll find out from them. This is one of the BEC candidates I have with me here. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So how did it go for you? Today is the last day. Uh, it went well. It went well. We, we wrote it, but I'm sure that uh, uh, the marking was not marked very well. We, we saw that we wrote it, but we didn't get what we, wa what we wanted. You mean in your BEC scores? Yes, yes, yes. But how did placement go for you? Did you find any difficulty accessing the site? No, no, me, I did not find any difficulty. It came for me when I set it, no, and it came. What website did you use? I used the 
Well, unlike our first students, I have with me a student who has been checking, but unfortunately has not received his placement yet. What happened? Um, from last two weeks, I've been checking the results, um, the school placement, but still, it was not coming. And even one of my friends, one of my friends um, had aggregate 38, but he had his placement. But me, I had 34, but still, I've not had my placement. So what are you going to do now? Today is the final day. Um, I'm going to check again for the last time. So I beg the government that if there's any help for we the ones who have not get our placement, they should please help us because we all wrote the exams. And I even did well. So if someone had um, 38 and me having the 34, some years get to school and me have not getting any of the four choices. I have with me a parent here who has been trying himself to sort out the placement issues of his child. Hello, sir. How has it been so far? Any difficulty? Yes, of course. Um, first of all, the education is not enough because a lot of people, even they don't know whether the, the result has come out. So that one too is um, a problem for us. And those who know that the result has come, then they're supposed to go to net. For instance, the way they don't have any access to this internet and this stuff. Mm. But we are trying to do, we those who know that there's something going on. We have been trying for so many times. We have paid money, we do it, no result. We go and pay another one, we do it, no result. So we are appealing to the government, the minister, whether he can extend it or do something about it for us. Because it's a problem for us parents now. What are you going to do now? Because today is actually the deadline. Even the deadline, I don't know. You just told me that today is the deadline. And the website is also jamming. And right now, you give me a new website that I can maybe try and see whether it can work for us. So I'm going to try it. Whether the new website that you have given to me right now, it will work or not. So that one, after trying it and see whether my child or my sister can have access to the free FHS. Mixed reactions here as some students are excited that they have received their placement and others, well, they haven't and so they are sad because today marks the end of the 48 hours extension given by the Ghana Education Service. Well, though the Internet Cafe attendant refused to speak on camera, he has confirmed to me that even the new site which I have introduced him to right now is difficult to access. For some of these students, they are wondering if they would get a pick of this free such as policy and they are pleading to government to please extend the date so that they can also work out their placement. For Joy News, Faustina Sapo. 424,092 of the candidates were those who were fortunate enough to qualify for free senior high school because they made the mark. 92 is, um, we, we, actually, we have 36,000 of the 8%, then it's about 420 thousand and they are part of uh, the number of students that we have spaces for that are going to go to senior high school for the 36,000 students who were not so lucky the deputy education minister encouraged them to reset the BC next year you see to the eight percent I'll tell them this yeah we, what has happened over the years is that until the last two years when you say you are done, nobody cares about you. And I commend the NDC for coming up with a policy of reset. And we think it's a good policy. Students who did the reset last year are captured in this year's enrollment. So next year, these students can also go back and get better grades and then come back and we'll capture them and place them. Because you see, they are at a point when the student did not do well. Maybe he's bright, but exams sometimes can be tricky. They didn't do well, we want to give them a better chance of coming back strong and getting placed. So when uh, when will they get the opportunity to do this reset? Oh, the WIAC comes up with a calendar. I think it will be next year. Mm. Uh, somehow, somewhere early next year, they'll do it. He explains those who successfully gain admission to senior high school will have their fees, including admission, library, science center, computer laboratory, examination utility bills, all taken up by government. 
as I speak with you, test book, core test books have been distributed throughout the country. Never happened before. Free test books. Free test books uh, for the core subject areas are all going. Uh, how about the fees for these schools? Have they been disbursed already? Uh, this is what we are doing. Um, there are some items that we have to take care of from Accra. We are doing that. There are some items that the schools have to take care of. For example, school uniforms, mm -hmm. school uh, club, house dress. Headmasters have been empowered to contract with their own vendors for those items. And they Let's get let, let's get started with the show today. My guest, uh, Kobe Fiagbe, he is with the is editor at the Ghanaian Lens. Kobe, you're welcome. Thank you, Gifty. You How sound you? excited. Uh, yeah, just seeing you. Dear. Just seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also have here in the studio with me Sete Yia. He's my former colleague, you know, at the presidency, former presidential correspondent. He's GB, he's a uh, assistant chief editor <laughs> at the GBC. <laughs> Uh, GBC mm -hmm. Radio, uh, to be specific. You're welcome as well. Thank you. Is this yes. your first time on the show? Yes. Oh, great. Yes. You must be very excited having to be on the, s on the show with Kobe Fiat, but he will make you very animated. Yes, and also especially seeing you <laughs> after a while. <laughs> after a while, <laughs> after a while, I must say. So like I said, we'll be looking at these big issues that have happened during the week. The biggest, I must say, is the free SHS. I mean, the police inviting the uh, the police CID inviting both multimedia and the chairman of the Just One group of companies as well as the future of journalism focusing on the GJA and of course allegations of impropriety against the finance minister Ken Okoriata by the minority in parliament who also touched base with the Operation Vanguard to see how far it's gone. Since we'll be talking about the minority we'll look at what uh, the former president John Mahama has also been doing. Now let's begin with the biggest story like I said free SHS. Well some have said that it is the best educational policy so far but others have taken the pain to explain what they believe could go wrong with this policy and what ought to have been done differently. There were issues about funds, getting to schools on time, no placement and in fact misplacement. As of Friday, the Ghana Education Service said it has placed 95% of all qualified students who were uh, and was looking into the 5% of those uh, people who had problems, mainly misplacement. And it's subject, uh, it's subject to the, the, it's a subject that has many different angles, I must say. And I'm going to start the conversation. But before we start the conversation, have a look at this particular story. When we return, we'll look at the role of the media in highlighting these teething problems of the policy and how they were able to get solutions to those problems. At a news conference on Thursday, September 7, the Deputy Education Minister in charge of secondary education, Dr. Yao Seyeduchung, directed authorities of senior high schools to remain opened in order to facilitate registration of first-year students delayed by the computer school selection and placement system. Joy News' visit to the Presbyterian Senior High School, Presec at Legon here in Accra, showed ongoing registration of prospective first-year students. Some parents who had gone through the registration process spoke to Joy News. We only heard the message this morning that the Presec has uh, uh, open up and then they are giving out the prospectus. So we came around and truly he has got. My brother told me this morning that um, a colleague has just called him to come to the school so that he will come and do his placement. So I just came along with him to do everything. And how is the process so far? Actually it's moving very fast. I just came in and everything is moving very fine. So when are you reporting? On the 11th, on Monday. Other schools like St. Thomas Aquinas and Accra Girls, however, closed until Monday, September 11. Some school officials present refuse to speak on why they are not opened as directed. However, Laboni Senior High School at the time of our visit has served notice that school will be opened on Tuesday, September 12, to allow students register. Meanwhile, the Education Ministry has extended deadline for the registration of first-year students to the end of September 2017. Like I said, this is a story. It's a multifaceted uh, angle, 
multifaceted angle story. Okay, I got what I, w I really wanted to say. So I'm going to allow our panelists here to give us their thought. But before they give us their thought, I would like for them to address the role of the media. I mean, whilst we're doing these stories the whole week, what actually came to mind was, imagine a world or a community without the media. Even though the problems may have been communicated some way, somehow by the parents, etc., to the secretariat, how will how will they have had the solution? How will they the problems be actually known and the problems be solved? Let me start with you, Kobe, to rate the media and its role in highlighting the problems as well as how the solutions were able to you know be provided by the ministry. Well, thank you and good evening to our cherished uh, viewers. The, the role of the media is mm, can never be underestimated right. under any circumstance. In fact, that is how come the thinkers of before have uh, placed the media as the fourth estate of the realm. Mm. So it, it's a, a very important role. It's not just about uh, fishing out information, but also highlighting problems as in this instance and therefore focusing or uh, forcing attention on the problem mm. so as to give it the needed the needed direction the direction mm. so that we can think through them and find solutions so uh, so far i think the media we have been very up to the task mm. and uh, we have been focused on bringing attention to the problem and uh, where need be uh, even suggest solutions well some will say suggesting solutions may not fully be but then it's also part of why do you so why do you raise uh, attention to a problem? Mm. You draw attention to it so as to ultimately you're looking for, for solutions. solutions. So you, you in drawing attention to the problem, mm. you also draw attention to possible angles that could be looked at in by way of uh, uh, arriving at solutions. So I think by and large, the media has been very very responsive and responsible in this mm. matter, and uh, I can only say that we continue to um, go ahead in that direction. For instance. The girl who is not deaf and dumb and was pushed to a deaf and dumb school. Mm. It, it, I'm sure that if uh, the media had highlighted it the mm. way it's been it highlighted, did. the father and mother could be given the go and come, go, come, go, mm. come, run mm. down. And, and the girl might end up at home, yeah, not going to you, school you at all. Uh -huh. mm. But the, once those issues are highlighted, then it brings attention of the powers that be. Right. Yes, it causes a bit of embarrassment, but then... Out embarrassment to who? Well, to the whole system. Well, well, the, the system actually, you could say that the system is, is starting. It's a, it, even though we've been doing placement for some time, this particular one, which is supposed to be free, and you know the way it's been implemented, it's, uh, it's quite different. But that so is where the problem starts mm. from. Okay, before we go into the problem, let me ask for Seth's uh, own thoughts about the media and the role that the media has played in highlighting the problem and getting the answers that, that were needed. Difty, I must say that the media has done very well. And uh, the authorities... Are you guys not being biased with these no. answers? The authorities from the onset, you know, brought in the media from the news conferences mm. and what have you, right, right. press releases, right. et cetera, et cetera. I remember when the minister addressed the media, mm -hmm. you know, it took the acting director general to be moving from one radio station, TV to station, the, uh, educating people how the whole process will be. But unfortunately, I think that the, the, the number of the students overwhelmed the system. Because about more than 400,000 mm. and about 150,770 couldn't get placement. But that should have been expected. The number should have been expected but because we know those who have registered yes, but to, go, these are to go to school. Who have qualified mm. some six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they couldn't get their first choice. They couldn't get their second choice. They couldn't mm. get their third choice. Mm. They couldn't get their fourth choice. I see. You see? And, and I think that the media was not focusing just on the press releases, but we're going down there, going okay. to the schools, talking to parents. I spoke to some of the parents who said, that, "Well, if it will have to take, uh, if you have to take them to pay 
for their children to get the school fees. They, Fine, they to help, excuse my way, to help with the free education. Well, they, they were, they were frustrated, yes. obviously. They mm. were frustrated. And you see, this, 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 this particular era, I'm sure the media decided that, no, you're not going to stick to what the authorities are, are going saying. to tell, tell us. But let's just go down there. And I think that the media did an excellent job. And we'll continue to do the best that we do. When we are doing our best, we have to be commended. And when we are hitting hard too, we should take it. We should take I it see. It. We're going to be having a very interesting conversation Let's about see. the media and the future <laughs> of the media, by the way, let me say. But now that we've spoken about the role of the media, let's get into the, 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 the story or the, the, the matter itself properly. Um, Kobe, I mean, even before I ask my question, I think you're itching <laughs> to say something. So please yeah. go ahead. You see, this is a problem that, yes, almost on uh, an annual basis, mm. uh, computer placement has had its hitches. Mm. But what we are experiencing this year are no hitches. Mm. They are just, um, how do you call it, system failure throughout. What do you say, Okay. So? We started this computer placement at, must be, I think, 2005. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, some people have said it's about five years. I haven't done the no, 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 calculation no, no, no. myself properly. It, 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 it okay. was the example first time. So that would be like more than, that would be, we're looking at about yeah. 12 years yeah. or so. Yeah, it was during the example first time. Mm. And it's, it's been evolving mm. and, uh, mm -hmm. yes, hitches here and right. there, like every system. But after 12 years, we should be better. Even if not better, we shouldn't have gone the way we've gone. Okay. And in all these years, we've never had a, a time where somebody who is not deaf and dumb is placed in a deaf and dumb school. Some will, some will say, oh, it's just one instance. Mm. But it's an instance that actually reflects how bad the system has become. Mm. Now, the problem is, why did it become that way? It is, whether you want to admit it or not, mm -hmm. the confusion brought about by free SHS okay. as conceived by the MPP. Now, let, let, uh, and let me make that thing very clear. Please. John Dramani Mahama started free SHS with day students, and we call it the progressive free SHS, right. if you recall. So day students were, uh, uh, how do you call it? Uh, Going to school for free? For free. Okay. Okay. Then, he, in the 2016 manifesto, was that something that was happening? Yeah. In, in yeah. yeah. It that started, all day students it were going to school for it free. It started in 2015 uh, with the 2015 budget. And everybody. Every day student was going to for school free. for free. Yeah. I see. Day student. Now, and in the 2016 budget, 2016 uh, manifesto, the pledge was that they were going to add some borders, not all. Okay. That then because of the progressive nature of mm. it, so that you are able to manage whatever fallout and then you are improving the system as you go along. Right. Now, the MPP, on the other hand, made a manifesto promise in which they said that there was going to be, they were going to redefine education to mean from primary up to SHS, so mm -hmm. there's not going to be any fees, any, uh, how do you call it, um, break. Right. So once you, you you move out from the primary, you move. There's not going to. You be go all the way to senior high uh, school. Senior high school. Okay. So no now I'm struggling to find to I'm get your to get your point so about. So when, when I finish, you will get it. Okay. So right. That <laughs> so that I don't. So that you don't have to go all the way for me to understand and for our viewers to understand. What it means, therefore, mm -hmm. is that the issue of qualification, as in terms of whether you have aggregate X or you have aggregate mm. C or Y, mm. it's not, it's, it's immaterial. Doesn't determine Once whether you go to school or not. Yeah. Once okay. you, you reach, you, you move to the uh, SHS threshold, mm -hmm. you are to move into the... Uh, uh, you have to be placed place. and go to school. Go, go to school. Okay. Now, so that was it. That was the promise on that they made to the people of Ghana mm. on page 107 of their manifesto. Uh, oh, you're talking about the NPP's the manifesto. NPP manifesto. Right. Page 107. Right. And they made it, that promise clear to the people of okay. Ghana. Now, having come to government, they are through the back door, re 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 uh, how do you call it, reviewing that promise. 
now that's are, what you think well, that is what is happening okay now you, you you've got to give us more than just coming. your words yeah, so so come so wait okay i'm coming yeah yes yeah, you yeah, know yeah, just so I'm, set I'm, set, I'm, I'm set here set here set, will have to also have to come in to, so me. just so you don't take all the time giving the time. us premises i'm not giving you okay premise. i'm building the gate right now, so what do they do now it is you must get you must get additive x mm. or y to qualify for a free shs if you don't get that aggregate, you no you don't qualify for free SHS. That's yeah. not the sense I'm getting. There are people who are getting that what they they've said is that if you don't you fail in English and math. What the explanation that I've heard from the deputy education minister is that if you fail in English and math, and that's that's quite basic. If you fail in English and math, you are required to rewrite. So far, I mean, we play something where but there's a young man. Let me just uh, there's a young man who had 38. He, a young man, he actually had 34 and was saying that his friend had 38 and his friend had been placed. So he didn't understand why he had th 34 okay. and was not placed. So the only explanation that have come from the education of those who will not or may not qualify for this is if you fail in English and math. But, so now but, your point. But, but that is not the promise. The okay. promise is that once you move from primary, you get to SHS, we, the, the redef we've redefined education to mean that it's a progressive thing. You are you you are just moving on to SHS and it's for free and it's for every Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. It's for every Ghanaian, whether you are in SHS two or three, continuing or starting afresh, every Ghanaian. Okay. That was the promise. I'm still not getting your point. You said there's confusion that has been created. So now okay. when now you have redefined a thing to mean that it is no longer uh, it is based on what you achieve mm. or more like a scholarship kind of thing okay then now you have a problem with where to place who and then okay. it, then it means that the numbers must necessarily reduce it is not going to be a wholesale thing any longer mm. and that is where you have a problem and when you have the, the problem you must also find a way of managing the numbers because if you are going to manage the numbers then you must also bring in qualification criteria you must pass this, you must get this ag aggregate, you must get that, and that is where the problem is coming from. Okay. But if it were on a wholesale basis, then there is no, no for instance, all these students are going to enjoy free SHS. There is no problem about whether you have aggregate X or you have, you pass, you, 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 you So for you, the confusion, you, you say I'm there's systemic that failure. And that is and why parents will tell you, like a year just said, mm -hmm. and I, I think you yourself even interviewed some parents that they say that, look, we would pay. If we have to pay. pay. But what I'm so, so it what is, it is you, you see, you raise a very fundamental point about the fact that there have been a systematic failure a systemic failure mm -hmm. now what i'm trying to find out because we're looking everybody indeed have said that if this program goes through it will be to the benefit of all of i have i have colleagues who are so excited that they're not going to have to spend their uh, their salaries on their children's school fees so everybody seems to be happy about Absolutely. this so we're really looking at the solution i mean what the problems are and what we can you know prefer as the solutions okay yeah. so the systemic failure that you mentioned which, if you were to summarize it for me from all that you said, what really is the problem? What is the problem is that right now, the people managing the placements mm -hmm. and the people in the uh, education fields, the headmasters mm -hmm. and right. everything, they are not even clear what the criteria for qualification is. Okay. So, in some instance, somebody gets aggregate 8 and is not placed. Somebody gets 34 and is placed. Somebody gets 38 and is placed. Okay. I you think the explanation the ministry again has given on that mm -hmm. is that it's based on the choice, uh, the, the, the course or the program that you choose. You, you choose. So if you're going to Wegehe, for instance, mm -hmm. and you chose home economics and you got 30, but you chose home economics, the, the likelihood that you will get your position as against someone who chose, for instance, science and got lower than yours. So you may get all the A's, but you cannot get science in Wegehe. But someone who chose home economics, you did better than them, but they will get placement. I, I, I don't get you that. Don't get I it. don't get that argument. Okay. You know why I don't get that argument? Okay. We've, yeah. had, we've had these numbers of students all these years, and placement, yes, there have been issues mm. with placement. I would not sit here and say this is the first time that we have having placement. But th the magnitude of the problem we are facing right now uh, it's worse than we've ever faced 
in the preceding years. I want you, you to know. give us the and magnitude of the problem. The magnitude of the problem is what I've typified. Lack of the criteria uh, lack of co uh, for qualification. It's what I've typified with, uh, for you with the example of the girl who was placed in a, uh, the deaf and dumb school. It okay. typifies the magnitude of the problem. So, but they are you fixing understand? it. I mean, the education ministry have ha, have been they be, they seem to have been up uh, with their game. I mean, fixing well, those problems they, they that they have been be. reported. They better be. Mm. They better be because okay. we cannot toy with our education. Okay. We L cannot. L we cannot. Mm. We cannot say that because uh, it's a policy that is going to benefit us, and mm. therefore we, our children it should be implemented guinea, anyhow. Guinea pigs. Uh, this year came to become guinea pigs. No. No. Okay. Let me bring Seth in. It's been quite a lengthy conversation. Um, Seth. You see, with, with or without the free SHS, mm. I think that we should have had it. We should have had a smooth exercise mm. with or without, without free. the free okay. SHS. Because this is something that, as a country, we've been doing for 12 solid years. Even though every year comes with its own mm. challenges. But this year's rule has been extraordinary. Mm. For me, I would say that those are the CSSPS secretariats mm -hmm. must be blamed. They Gift must be blamed? Yes, they okay. must be blamed. Gifty, okay. you remember or you recall that, as I said, we have 150,770 who were not placed, okay. yet they qualified. And we have 36,000 who failed. So they mm. will have to reset. We're right, yeah. Now, they were given, the par parents were given two days moratorium to go back and do their random placements. Mm. Now, the two days expired and another two days was, was uh, added. Was so basically added. the education ministry now, kept extending the now deadline. As we speak, mm. it's been extended to the end of the month. Right. For parents to continue to place their children. What would you rather they did? It means that, as I said, it is, system, it is uh, how do you call it? A systemic failure, systemic like failure. what we say. Because... The same school, we are not building any new school within this short period of time. Mm. A friend's daughter had 14 and wanted to do home, uh, what, what, uh, general, uh, general arts. General arts, yes. General arts. Yes. General art. mm. She was not pleased. Fortunately, during the second window, the two days that was given, he, he went there, he did the placement, and lo and behold, just this uh, Friday, Mm. Saturday, rather, he called and said the doctor had the daughter had been admitted to a farm secondary school. Mm. Now the question is, how come? Was okay. a farm secondary school full at the time? The the, 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 the way you 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 mentioned it, mm. it's a and from what I'm hearing, it appears everybody is being placed, and it's and it's random. Whether I mean, you may have cho you may not, you may have chosen your four schools, but. Even if you don't get that any, that's the problem. Okay, okay. That is so, so, so okay. that's that is where that is where give you the choice it to even select that schools that is in the first place. Where the okay, so it, it appears that appearance. that has been some of the problems. Mm. But don't you think that this mm. is fair for yeah. every Ghanaian child that you get the chance to go to school, yes. as long as you don't fail in English and, and, and maths, yes. you get the chance to go. Isn't it yes. fair? I mean, social social justice. Let's yes. say. No, I heard I heard the parents. Okay, so let, let me take let, let me take the parents view. Who, who said that the daughter had been posted to a school in the Volta region? Mm. Now, as a concerned parent, he went to the school. When he went to the school, he met some people in the school, and he thought that some of them were uh, teachers and students. So he so started he, talking he to them. To the, he approached the first person, and the first person said, "No, I don't teach here." The second person said the same thing. The third person said, no, I'm not a student. Ah. So the man asked them, ah, if you are neither a student nor a teacher here, then what are you people doing here? And they said, oh, we came here for fresh air. For fresh air? Yes. Okay, so. For fresh air. So, so the point now, is? Now the point is that here is somebody who has been posted to a school. This is a school that he would not have sent his daughter to yes. in the first place. That's the point he's making. You see, this is the school. Now, it, it just imagine, let's say the, the man is in Accra. So he's and worried that people came there for fresh air? Yes, but if it, it's a, if it was indeed, or it is indeed a secondary school, why should it be so? But, it, but what's wrong? What, 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 the fact that someone is in a particular yeah. school looking for fresh air doesn't disqualify the school. You know, the man no, felt I that the daughter's life was in danger. 
Because the school was open to the open public. Open to the public. I mean, is I mean, to, is this is Keta? Keta Secondary School, you're saying? No, 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 no. Hota no. Region. Hota Region. Hota Region. Hota Region. Hota Region. Hota Region. Okay, because I've been to that school it's before. And I know. So you should have all the So you should have. Okay. Because I was going to say, I've been to that school when it's world. I mean. Yes. You see, free SHS, fine. Every Ghanaian child must be, must be given secondary education. I support the idea. Mm. But the process towards placing the children right. you know, have not been the best. Ankoi. Oh, uh, yes. Have not been, have <laughs> not been. <laughs> you know what I said? It's and I think that, it's not and right. I think that okay. the, uh, the, uh, the authorities, I'm mm. sure, they're also learning their lessons. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that the next batch, they should not mm -hmm. forget the next batch mm -hmm. may, may, shoot, may shoot up. Because okay. now, the, the, now euphoria, it's free. Yeah, yeah. the euphoria will be up. And every parent will like the daughter to, or the to, son to, to be to in go. school. Right. So, that, so they should look at the, the CSSPS mm. again. And, and deal with the problems. You say it's not fair that everybody, irrespective of... On the face of, of it, it's fair. Mm. But it is not fair okay. given how it is being operated. Now, I'm supposed to send my child to school for free. Mm -hmm. I'm living at Kolegono. Mm -hmm. And, and it, this whole free SHS thing would be a huge relief for me. Mm. Under John Mahama, I would have been forced to send my, my child to a day school mm. to enjoy the free SHS. SHS. But because uh, President Kufuado says he's doing it universal, mm. so I'm going to send him to a boarding house. But even in a boarding house, it must be a boarding house close by where I can visit uh, uh, as required. Does it necessarily have to be close by where you can actually, where exactly. your children can I, jump I'm, the wall I'm, I'm and I'm go coming, home? I'm coming. It's not about jumping the wall and going home. It's also about me, the parent, visiting. And also about the transportation cost in sending that child to the school. For instance, the man yeah. he's talking about who is in Accra and his child is being sent to, say, Urara in the Volta region. Mm -hmm. That child is not going to be transported to and from school free by government. It will be in a boarding school. Yeah, but transported, I mean, mm. from the house well, to school. Well, it's, it's part of the responsibility of I'm, taking care of your child. I, I am not disputing that, but I'm saying that... I, I don't personally think it's a big deal, really. No, no, you, no because the, you, you, when you sit economically, it is not a big deal. No, 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 no. That's not the point. That's not the point at all. No, that's not... Because I, don't, I have my own... I have, I, I, trust me, I have my own very interesting story about how my mother had to struggle for me to go to SHS. Precisely. So, so, so... So, so, I'm, no, I'm so about about you. I'm no, not talking no, no, about you. I'm not talking about family. I'm talking about you, Gifty. No, that's not the point. I'm saying that so if you have a child, it is your responsibility to take care of them. So if taking I'm them to school requires that you take them, you you pay for transportation. Precisely. You have to pay and for it. Why, Government that, can't that do everything. Why, that is why it. That is why, in my view, I would like to her to go to a day school nearby where my cost would be minimal. Okay. Okay. So that is why I am given the choice of a day school nearby. For instance, one. Uh, how do you call it? 200 and something day schools were in the progress of being built. 123 of them had been completed by the time John Mahama was living. So the day schools were becoming available. You understand? So that is why I would have loved to have a day school. But now okay. I don't have a choice. I have, I have been made... You are being forced, forced to go to a particular school, school. school. even no though problem. you don't want no it. No problem. My child is going to enjoy free SHS. But then the cost in transporting the child... Somebody will say, oh, it's not, it's not a big deal. But for some families... 10 cities is a huge... But this family would have paid school fees if they weren't going to go to school for free. <laughs> you don't they understand. would have found money to pay for the yes, fees. Yes, but, mm. the, but then that would also mean that the father would have prepared for it and wouldn't have voted for free SHS. No. <laughs> okay, you, you Let, let's, let's deal so with the issue on our hand and, and let's look at... I mean, let's try and... Divorce and politics. If we can, no, no, no. if we can, I see, I see, I see, I see you, I see you going there. Quite frankly, my, but, my, but my, my, <laughs> senior, my senior colleague here spoke about the community day. Mm -hmm. You see, with the current system of placement, with the current system of placement, you can choose at a Mills Day mm -hmm. Secondary School at Ekufi Otam, but the system will not place you there. Mm, we'll place you at... We'll place you somewhere else. A different school. Yeah, for because a school. Yes. We ask, ask, like what okay. The I think that we the point now. you made about but them looking at the system, this particular system Look again, the placement system no, again. At, uh, where the first community day senior high school was mm. started. A Kufi Are you aware that there was also existing secondary school 
in a country. If okay. you go to a country, yes, I check. There's a secondary school. Okay. T.I. Amadia Secondary School. Then okay. Otam, we also have a community day. But from a to Otam, it's also a distance. Okay. That if your parent and your child goes to school there, Kobe, you have to foot the transportation. The transport. Yes. Yes. Okay. As to getting vehicle to Otam and coming back, it's also a challenge on its own. So okay. for me, as long as we continue to have the CSSPS in place, everybody will be placed according to the CSSPS. I think Parents and and so that your, for you, the main problem is with the CSSP system, yes. which, and that has to be, yeah, so it has choose, to be. So if, to be if, if the community day, let, if let, community let day mm. is my first choice, I should be given a community day school okay. or a day school, which is my first choice or second choice. Okay. Not to a body. I, I, I guess we might need a, a bit more yeah, and, uh, I think uh, that one thing that we have to do, whether free SHS or not, free SHS or not, is to align the reopening of first year schools so as to give the CSSPS enough time between when results are released mm. and when students go to school. Because so that, that they can also, work it out. That is also part of the problem. Okay. Because it, it, the, the time WIC really, they don't, CSSPS don't have control over when WIC results right. are released. And they don't also have control over when uh, schools are reopened. So the education uh, ministry determines when schools are reopened. Mm. Th and so sometimes it's just a month between when schools, uh, when results come out and when schools when reopen. Schools reopen. So, and look at the number of students who are trying to enter the computer from various parts of the country mm. and trying to enter the system to find their result, uh, their placement. Mm. It creates which is why the system broke down in the in the first in the first week or so. That is that is another mm. thing that they, uh, they I think the education system will have to look at. They try to uh, realign the reopening. If we are going to maintain the uh, uh, mm. computer selection, then th there must be a certain realignment of mm. uh, reopening to give the CSSPS okay. people enough time to. Because, for instance, giving parents two days, that in itself is a guarantee that there's going to be a blockade. Okay. Now, your concerns, the concerns that both of you have raised, sort of, um, um, it resonates with a particular concern that, been, that has been raised by someone, uh, the vice president of Imani, Imani Ghana, Kobe Ben. So, his, his concerns basically has got to do with the, so the Ghana Ivy League schools, sort of. So, you're talking about the, all the A, a class, a like class. you say, the A class mm -hmm. schools, yeah. and the fact that now people, then you know, those A class schools, they actually have um, a cutoff point. And apart from the cutoff point, they are very selective about who comes. So you, you have to, you, have, you must have attained a certain level of qualification to be able to go there. But now people who have, you know, grades beyond what perhaps they would have ideally chosen are all going to those schools. His concern is that. You're, you're, you're going to sort of break their spine. Now, these are the schools we know uh, for those kinds of people, like <laughs> brilliant people, et cetera. <laughs> I, I'm wondering, I mean, it, it, it's part of, uh, it resonates with no, your it thoughts, it doesn't yes, it? Yes, because no. uh, for every no. parent, every it parent will okay. like the, the child to go to Wesley Girls, Infante Fame, and Isabel, mm. and what have you. For me, the lesson that our government must learn is to upgrade all the existing schools, especially those in the, mm. in the rural areas. They must be upgraded in terms of infrastructure and human resource. So that they can yes. meet yes. The, st the same standards. Yes. So people don't feel bad yes. that they're being sent to rural yes. because uh, Gifty, in the water where, region. Where the, where the SSS system started, it was the A-level schools that were, you know, that were benefiting, or let me say, that people were going, attending and passing. Okay. And so, some of the those how do you call it, less endowed schools mm. also started coming. But up. but actually, there have been argument that those are the people who are actually doing the, the teaching work. That the mm. people who are taking those who for you have not have not passed properly, they are taking them and teaching them to pass and to make it to the university. Yes. That they are doing the work because what you are mm. doing basically is that for those who have the A's and the B's etc., yes. it's easy work for you. So people have argued that it's actually. Lazy work for the for those because teachers who just choose I those who are brilliant and teach them and leave those who are Gifty not so brilliant. Look, I went to Bremen Sukuma Secondary School, and at the time it was a form five school, and 
at the end of every GCEO level, we're comparatively doing well. Then the SS system came. But the masters also realized that no, during the O level system, the students were doing well. So what must we do? So they came together. So those of us who, who are old students, we put our heads together with the school authorities. Then we started supporting the school, putting expanding facilities in the school. And I can tell you that Bremen Sikuma Secondary School, or let me say Bremen Sikuma Senior High School, mm. I think we take the first 10 schools in China. <laughs> okay, so Dominic now people are marketing their school. No, Dominic okay. said, Dominic said, he's also an old boy. For me, that is the problem. Okay. So that we do away with this A class, uh, B class, and C so class. So improve the infrastructure yeah, yes. for all the other schools yes. that are not considered, uh, you know, in the first a, 10, B, C, so that they whatever. all get to that to that yeah, level, yeah, that's equity. I haven't I mean, I mean, uh, read the piece, okay. and uh, given the summary, that the summary yes, you have given yes. to me, the reason I don't agree with you is, I have seen students who were not encouraging at primary level, mm. but by the time they are getting to secondary and moving to university, they become top class students. Right. You understand? So I think that even moving such people to Achimota to is even a way of getting them challenged mm. so that they can uh, 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 how do you call it? Rise up to the occasion. Okay. You understand? So, but it defeats your your previous uh, your previous point that, that if you do not pass well enough for but those I, kinds of schools, you shouldn't me. be there. It is not me. It is okay, the that is looking, No, it's okay. that is the, the, the criteria that they brought. That is what they brought in relation to. And you don't agree today. with it. I don't. That's so you I'm think making. that you should go I to the school that your grace I, uh, your, I, that no, pay I your grace you deserve to. I think that. Once we have the people making choices mm -hmm. and we have given them the, the choice to make the choices, let's place the people in, uh, within the, 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 the list of their choices. The choices. Okay. That is the point that I'm making. I see. You understand? Okay. Let's not say that because you have gotten aggregate X or Y or Z, we mm -hmm. are not going to put you here or there. Okay. You understand? Okay. So long as the course that you want to read, the school is offering mm -hmm. home economics, business, whatever, the school. And let's also be biased towards the science students and make sure that we place those more and more and more. And that is my problem. That is my view. I'm not for the fact that if you don't qualify, you shouldn't go to Achimota. In any case, we say that it is free from SHS, uh, from primary mm -hmm. right to through to SHS yeah. ending. You understand? Right. So <laughs> what is this thing about uh, qualification again? What is this thing about? Well, it is uh, necessary. Uh, Otherwise, see, because it's free, everybody will just well, stay at school and not learn but and just go what through the told system. Us. Anyway, what told us anyway, we spent quite a lot. Free. We spent quite From a lot of point. time on this uh, on this and subject. And, and indeed, those who, have place, <laughs> who, those who have been placed, they should go to the school and do their best. Other than that, when they are repeated, their parents. Will be paying their fees. Well, that that makes sense. If you're not, for, if, even for scholarships, if you don't, there are some scholarships that if you're not doing yeah, well, there is, it's but withdrawn. Is but anyway, that is not free education. Anyway, I, um, you're still watching Editors Forum with me, Gifty and I'm here with Kobe Kiagbe and Sete Yia from GBC. Kobe is with the Ghanaian Lens. We're talking about the free SHS. We spent quite a lot of time. Basically, the point is that's been made here is that there are systemic problems. Of course, that has been known uh, during during the week, and it appears that the education ministry was quite proactive in dealing with that. I don't know what you uh, what you two think, but let's wrap up our conversation with that. Do they deserve commendation? No. I mean, the system broke down the next day, even though they should have anticipated. The next day, there was a new. Uh, there was a new website that's allowing people to place themselves, etc. They've been engaging the media, like you said, uh, Seth. They've been they've been pushing information out there consistently. That's something that's to be commended, isn't it? No. Why not? R briefly. I would commend <laughs> you when you solve problems, okay. not when problems come at you and you are reacting to the problem. You are supposed to anticipate the problem and preempt it. Mm. You understand? And going forward. I think that they should seriously give a thought to this realignment of school okay. reopening and the CSS uh, uh, wide uh, release of this thing mm. so that we will we'll, uh, give the CSS peers uh, enough, enough time, time and give parents to enough time to make whatever corrections that there is to okay. be made. 
that is uh, the proactive way of solving the problem. So at, the, at this point, as far as you're concerned, they, 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 they have failed? No, they have done something, but... But it doesn't I mean, deserve, it's not something no, that deserves no, commendation. If you, you commend them, then they go to sleep. Okay. No, they must They be must, up they, to the they, they, they they must, must be up to the They okay. must think outside the box. Okay, so Ghana Education Service, that's to you, uh, to think outside the box, so that you, you don't deal with the problems that you created yourself, basically the point that Corey Fiedman is making. What, what do you say? Well... Is there a commendation? Well, yes, uh, they've been proactive in, you know, in solving the problems as they come. Now we have up to the end of the month. Mm. So what will be done? W which schools are they going to be? The students, which schools are they going to be placed? Okay, so that, that, that leads me to my that, very that final that question. That we have more schools that are yet to be filled. I, I don't know that. But that, that leads me to my very final question, and that was whether or not you envisage what you envisage the a majority of media outlets to focus on as the the week we're, we're going into the next week yeah. uh, this week this actually week. which yeah. is when the the, the children um, the students are going to go to school what do you envisage that the media should the areas that they should focus on telling the story of the free shs or rather what do you expect now, as we speak the students are starting school tomorrow right i think on tuesday yeah i think tomorrow yeah. tuesday, tuesday. Some yeah. yes Some tuesday. our focus should not only be on those who have gained admission. Mm. It should also be on those who have been given up to the end of the month to, to deal with the problems. Yeah. Because I think that the, the, the problem hmm. <laughs> no, uh, do, do we have do we have schools that are yet to be filled? So maybe that's I mean one of the areas where yes. you would expect the media yes. to focus on. Because as we speak uh, now it's it appears that the schools are full. You, you, yes. you, you, you seem to yes. suggest that the, schools, that are the schools are full. So you now are free. You're, you're, you're sort of uh, do, doing a forecast on the fate of those who are those and who are yet to be placed. And those who are who have been placed, will the media will go to the schools mm -hmm. and find out if the schools have the capacity to take them. To take the number of students mm -hmm. that have been given to them. And if they it receive the funding, yes, which it's, was it's, one of it's the important because yeah. gifty. I'm, I'm not a prophet or doom, but you shouldn't be. I am seeing <laughs> the possibility where students will not get place to sleep, and they will be forced to sleep on the dormitories of the on the verandas of the dormitories. Okay. I am foreseeing something like that. Okay. I'm hoping that. It, that it, won't it happen. Will not, it will not come to pass. Okay. Well, our, our camera, I mean, here at Joe News, our cameras will be out there tomorrow, uh, from, through, from, from tomorrow uh, to the schools, looking at what's happening there. But before we wrap up, Kovi, your, your own thoughts about what you envisage the majority of media houses should be focusing on, telling the free SHS story and how far we have come from tomorrow, which is when we understand the students are going to school. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that our kids will not have to endure the kind of harrowing picture my brother has just painted. I'm praying that um, we will sail through and uh, free or not, uh, the kids will not be traumatized mm. in, in the process. So um, I'm expecting that the media will come out with those positive stories to reassure the nation. Mm. But I fear that it might not be the case. That we might end up having to tell the negative stories more not because we want to tell that story because, because that they is the exist and that is right. available right, uh -huh. right. that no, is what i fear mm. I'm, I'm i'm hoping and praying for the best but i'm fearing for the worst oh wow wow that sounds very poetic doesn't it he's hoping and praying for the best but he fears that the worst is about to happen but well tomorrow we'll be out there with our cameras and we'll bring you all the stories and i as a journalist who get frustrated about talking about the problems over and over again without getting solutions i'm looking forward to positive stories that at least makes us happy that removes the frustration that we have to go through as journalists all the time well we spent a lot of time talking about free education but that's because it's a very important topic it's it's a very big it's a big deal it is a big deal and um, whether or not your child is going to school tomorrow you know that this is a big deal. But we'll bring you all the stories as and when they unfold. <laughs>